Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take apart this little um, vac vacuum cleaner. Right then, so um, I come across this little vacuum cleaner. There's no um, plug charger with it, so it's totally um, flat. So I thought we'd we'll take it apart and see what's inside it. If I can get the ends off. Right, so that that was all, that's all plastic there. So that will all go in the recycle. Um, looks like it's one, two, three, four. Looks like it's six screws holding this. Oh, there's a battery cover here. Let's take that off. See what's in there. What sort of battery it is? Just a battery there. Uh, get some of these screws out. I don't think there'll be much to this, basically. It's just a battery and a motor, I would have thought. I mean, I could have got the hammer and just went in and smashed it up, but I don't like picking the bits up afterwards. You ain't got to have a big tool kit to do stuff like this. I mean, you just need a basic set of screwdrivers, set of snips, maybe a basic socket set and a hammer. And the good thing about doing this, scrapping, you ain't got to put it back together. All right. One, two, three. Screw still caught on there. there we go. Recycle, recycle. So yeah, we got a. Uh, get these wires off here. They're soldered on. Let's just snip them off. Uh, a bit of green. Leaves on now, I use these to cut the bushes as well. Nice little bit of copper in the wire in there. How's that come out? Oh, it looks like. Oh, the motor thing's alright, isn't it? Have a go at getting this off. Don't want to breathe that dust in. And that leaves you two screws there to get the motor out. Got a bit of Loctite around them and all. Give that a tap through. 
that's that. Nice little motor there. And it's got a I don't know if you can see that. It's got some nice copper in there. So I'll keep that. That's rubbish. Just whip these screws off here. I've noticed with all this stripping stuff nowadays, I'm getting a lot of screws. Which before I didn't have any. So I like to nick the old man's. So if he, he should be doing all right out of this because I'm not taking any screws nowadays. Yeah, it's got a nice little um, bit of board out of that. We'll keep that. Um, nothing on there. In fact, the screws that will come in handy for something, but all that, all that rubbish. So yeah, we've got all that rubbish and then we've got a nice little bit of um, materials there that we can work with. Right, so that's that, I'll get all this lot cleared up, I'll put that away, that can go all recycling. Um, I also seen one of these on, it was actually on one of these, um, what do you call them? ads when you're flicking through on the internet uh, I see one of these pop up and what actually caught me eye was because we all take the kids out in the car and they have these drinks with the flip lids on them they don't always put the caps down properly so there's a few stains on the seats of the car and I see this advertised and it actually looks like a bog brush but I'm going to do a little review on it, um, me doing it in the car and um, trying to get these stains out of the seat. It's just safe scrubbing really because these, these all attach onto a, a drill bit so keep an eye out for that in the video. I mean there's a lot of different brushes in here. These are for the, apparently you can use these on your tyre wall, even the tiles in the bathroom they work on to get um, if you've got mould or you just want to clean the grout out on your kitchen floors or your bathroom tiles it's ideal for that it even comes with all different sizes to get in smaller gaps um, also comes with these as well different scour pads on so it's handy for just around the house really what else is in there? It comes with a polishing pad but yeah i think i'm going to do a little um, video of me showing you what this can do so Keep your eye out in the next video for that one. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that one here for now. So until next time, I'll see you later.